Hello, this is Stan for GPT for Work. Uh, I'm going to do a data preparation demo so that you can learn how to prepare your data in your spreadsheet very quickly with the help of AI and GPT for Sheets. The first use case is to bucketize these revenue numbers here that you can see in column C uh, into these revenue buckets. Um, this can be super painful to do manually or with formula and it will be a breeze here. So the first thing I need to do is in GP for Sheets, I set my header row, which is this one, row number four. Then I select the revenue column that I want to categorize into these five ranges that I paste here. Uh, the results will be uh, written into revenue range, column D. And I will add an instruction uh, that basically tells the AI that if the unit here is not specified, uh, it should uh, be understood as billions of dollars. All right, let's try it on three rows. There we go. We can see that the first one is correct because this in billions is 21 million. Um, again, this is the same number, but written differently, same bucket, and this is correct based on our specific instruction. Uh, so now I will run all rows and you'll see I've got over 100 companies here, 100 rows. And very shortly, in less than a minute, they will all be uh, correctly bucketized, which is super efficient. So this will really help you segment by numbers, which can be a very annoying thing to do, uh, as I said before. Okay, and we're done. Waiting for the last one, yeah. Great. Next use case. We're gonna uh, extract first and last names from this input, which can contain uh, names with uh, various parts. Uh, so for this, I'm going to use the extract tool. I'm going to extract first name and last name at once from the input column and put the results into B and C. I could add some instructions, which can be useful if, for example, your names uh, are presented differently, maybe come from another uh, country or language, uh, and are not uh, easily understood by AI. So let's let's go. I'm going to run all rows. All right, and you can see this is quick. Seems like it's working great, or we almost have our 100 first names and last names done. Only four left, and we're done. Great. Next, so this one is a bit interesting, is let's say that you have a list of email addresses here. Uh, these are of, of course fake, uh, and you want to extract a likely first name from the email um, and spelled out correctly. So this can be again super annoying to do, but if if you don't if you don't have AI with AI, but the prompt here is a bit more sophisticated. We give some specific instructions, some examples, and some examples of when to not return a guess. So I'll just paste it in here and choose, you can see that basically it will use the email column that is specified here. And I will put the results into column B. Okay. Let's, for the sake of speed, just run 30 this time. All right, so this one we can see is correct. Michelle looks correct, Jeremy looks correct. This one has no obvious first name and it correctly uh, let it empty. So that's good. Um, this one, well, you could argue for that Angel is a first name. So uh, again, maybe AI will not get you there 100% uh, yet, but you can focus on these little cases where um, that are ambiguous and where a human will be able to decide better. Uh, but overall, it looks great. 
Another use case for names is company names. Uh, oftentimes, these company names come with pesky suffixes, and you want to actually let me clean that up real quick. You want to clean that. So I'll again copy paste this prompt here into the custom prompt tool. As you can see, it will. You can add some suffixes, but usually you don't even need to add them here. Uh, AI knows a lot of company suffixes, and it will use the company name column to get a clean company name without the suffix. So you can use that to uh, deduplicate your uh, and clean your CRM, for example. There you go. All right. Formatting dates. Another super annoying task to do. Uh, dates can be extremely painful to handle. Um, so here I've got a bunch of dates formatted uh, all differently. I'm going to use the reformat tool. Uh, starting from dates, I want to reformat them to uh, this format where I have the year, then the months, and then the day. And put it here. Let's try it on three rows first to make sure it works well. All right, this seems fine, fine, fine. All right, let's go. You could add some instructions again if you if you know that your format has uh, a specific indication. For example, where the month and the day is uh, can vary from country, from locale to locale. So let's run uh, a bit more, say 50 rows. Also, right now I'm using GP4O, but you could use another model. Uh, I'll just show you where to switch. So as you can see, this is pretty powerful. Now I've got all my dates uh, in a clean format. Yeah, you can switch models here. Okay, next use case is formatting currencies, which again, like amounts, prices, costs can be uh, can can be sent to you in very uh, different formats. Super annoying to handle, so that you can then uh, sum them or compare them. Um, so I'm going to do two things here: is first extract the actual amounts uh, using the custom prompt as well as again. All right, let's do let's do twenty. And then I'm going to extract the currency code, uh, the official currency code. So as you can see, this was super fast. And we got properly formatted numbers, uh, which is amazing. And you can see that I can, these are actual numbers. I can sum them easily. All right. So that's really cool. Let's now do the currency code. All right, you can see it's pretty quick. Uh, to just change the prompt, copy paste. We're gonna make this even better. Oops, I forgot to change the column name. So you can see it put it here, but I'm gonna do it again and put it in the right column currency code. There we go. Now I have my clean amounts and currency codes. All right, so other examples. Uh, we've got three left. Phone numbers, other kind of information that's oftentimes presented in very different formats and can be super annoying. So I'll use the reformat tool once again. So starting from phone numbers, I'll uh, clarify that I want it into the E164 international phone number format. And I'll put it in, yeah, this column is fine. There we go. You can also see that I've got a little plus here. Since we're in a spreadsheet, uh, the spreadsheet interprets the plus as a number, but it is, it is indeed here. And you have the full, uh, the full country code, 33 here, or one here for an American number. So I've got addresses um, that I want to extract uh, the different parts from. Okay, so this will be easy. I just go to the extract tool, clean this up. And I'm going to again put the street 
city zip code state and country all right so let's get rid of this instruction All right, so let's enlarge this. Yeah, this seems correct. It's pretty good. And last use case I want to show is that you can do something even a little bit different is where you work with contents and you want to remove the HTML. Um, so for this, you can use a reformat tool. I'm just going to clear this up. Uh, yeah, use this and let's say I want plain text, no HTML. Let's try that. All right, looks pretty good, except for the first one, for some reason didn't work, but you could do this one. Um, easily by yourself if you needed to. Again, AI will usually not get you 100% there, but 99% there, and you can do the remaining of the work manually if you need to. Um, yeah, all right, that's the end of this video. Thank you for watching. Hope you appreciated it. Uh, don't hesitate to ask questions or leave some comments. We will make this product, we will continue to make it uh, much better based on your feedback. So really looking forward to it. Bye-bye.